Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about event handling using OSGI APIs. If you create any project using Maven Archetype, you will get a sample event handler, resource handler using these API in the code. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write event handler using OSGI API and I'll explain the code, how you can define what kind of event it will be listening to and then we'll have a proper demo with the different use cases. So this event handler are registered with the framework and notified with event object. This event handler can check or inspect that object and will get required information. So what is that event object? So basically this object is provided by framework to your handler method and this object event object will contain all the required information what you need about the event and about the resources uh, what you need to perform your task. If now you understand how you will define like what kind of event this event handler will be listening to. So there is a property called event topic. This property is you can add under at the rate component annotation as a property and you will be defining in this event topic what kind of event this will be listening to. Okay. If you want to perform or if you want to listen uh, your events that events under a particular path. So you can achieve that using a, another property called event filter apart from path you can add other filter as well so I'll show you by adding the path filter now let's understand the pseudo code so to write in that event handler first you have to implement event handler which is basically the coming from the OSGI APIs uh, as you know if you are implementing any interface you have to write that in a service so once you write that now this these properties are important you will be writing this under property so event.topic so whatever you can define in event.topic what kind of event this will be listening to so you can define what event you want like as part of this i need add change remove these are the standard uh, events you want to be listened by this handler so if i want like i want to listen those events under a particular path so you can add using event.filter and you will be defining a key value pair like path is equal to this so that means it will be listening any resources added after under author path means this my site and then author page under author if you add remove or change anything this handler will be listening to uh, this handler so they to handle your event or perform your task there is a method you have to implement once you implement this interface is handle event inside handle event there is the object event object what i was talking about this object is provided by your framework so now this object will contain all information what you need like what kind of event it is what kind of information you need if you compare this with the previous jcr uh, event listener there we had a event iterator so there we have a separate object for each event but here we have only a single object and this object will contain all the information that's why this listener or handler is preferred over jcr api's handler or listener now let's move on the code and see the different use cases how we can execute with the different different use cases as i explained i wrote a event handler by service is equal to event handler and by implementing this event handler interface so i define all three events like add change or removed and i define like path it will be uh, listening under this path means author after author page it will be listening to all the events which I define here so it's a handler so what I'm doing right now for the simplicity I'm just printing like what kind of event it triggered or it is handling and what is the path of that resource so let's deploy this so the deployment has been done now let's create a page under this the path which I define so let's create a page so as soon as I create this page so there should be a entry in logs like what kind of event that was and what is the path of that resource so if I go here and check this so you will get the information like okay first there were two events one was the added event so it added this 
this page and again it added another node called JCR content node so basically while creating this page it added two nodes if you come here and you see let me refresh this this page so first it create this node and second it create this node so that's what it is showing in this logs now let's do something different rather than printing things in log so what i'll do uh, i'll get that uh, resource means whatever the resource either changed or added and i add a property and i add some relevant information to that property so that end user or you can see something has been added to that node so what i'm doing here first i got a resource resolver you know how to get that so i got a resource resolver from the service user i have already explained this multiple times in my previous tutorials and then i got that resource means the resource added or updated and then converted that resource to node and then i'm adding a property called event handler task and value will be like it will print first event what is the event and event by whom triggered this so i'm getting resource resolver from user id so let's build this let's deploy uh, build has been done now let me create one more page under uh, this author let's say test 2 i'm just done so there should be an entry in uh, logs as well for the second one you will be seeing here and there's a more entries for the property added you will see the change there now there is two entries let's separate this two for the added one for the page one for the jcr node and changed means it added some properties that's why it is changing means by adding property node has been updated okay but now let's go directly to crxt if i refresh this page two open you will be seeing this property like event handler task or it's saying event changed by geek service user because this operation is performed by the service user you know right uh, because we are getting resources all from service user if you did not see please check the tutorial of service or the system user related now let's say you need relevant properties added to this proper uh, node for your operations so you can get those properties by using get property names method so you will be seeing here from that event means the event object there is a method called get property names you can iterate those names and you can get property names so once you get property name using that event there is another method called get property by passing get property name you can get the values of that property name so you will be getting some relevant properties which you need for your operation so let me build this So build has been done now let me create one more page so i created one more page called test 3 and go to the logs so you will be seeing here some relevant properties has been added like user id is equal to admin path is equal to this means jcr content and resource type is equal to this and your event dot topic is equal to added there are other various methods available with this event object. You can use those methods and you can get relevant information. So I hope you understood this uh, event handler. If you have any question, please do comment.